The solution type, dianeal, extraneal, or neutraneal, and dextrose percent is correct. The expiration date has not passed. The volume is correct. The green seal is intact. The medication port and pull ring are in place. After gently squeezing the solution bag, there are no leaks. Hang the full bag on the top of the IV pole. Put the empty bag on the floor or on the bottom hook of the IV pole. Sit down on a chair next to your supplies and IV pole. Get your transfer set out and place it on the clean towel on your lap. Ensure that the clamp is closed and leave it on your lap. Clean your hands again using hand gel. It is important to use enough gel to cover both sides of your hand and rub until they are dry. Remove the pull ring from the twin bag connector with one hand. Drop the ring onto your lap. Keeping hold of the twin bag connector, pick up the transfer set and remove the mini cap. Drop the mini cap on your lap and connect the two at once. Wipe away any excess iodine with gauze. Avoid touching the twin bag connector and the transfer set to prevent infection. You are now ready to begin draining. Drain. Open the transfer set twist clamp to drain. The fluid should start draining out. This can take up to 20 minutes. If it is your first exchange of the day, while you are draining, you may take your sitting blood pressure. Log the results on your CAPD log sheet. Next, take your standing blood pressure and log this on your log sheet. Blood pressure helps to determine the correct fluid balance. A higher than normal blood pressure may be a sign of fluid retention. When the drain is complete, place the red clamp on the drain line. Close the transfer set twist clamp and ensure that it clicks in place. Flush. To ensure that the fill line is free of air bubbles, it is necessary to flush the line. To do this, break the green plastic seal on the end of the fill line that is closest to the twin bag connector. Grasp the seal with your thumbs and forefingers and break it by rocking it back and forth several times. Open the red clamp and count to five while the air bubbles flush into the drain bag. Then close the clamp again. Fill. Open the transfer set twist clamp to fill. This takes approximately 8 to 10 minutes. When full, close the transfer set twist clamp. Ensure that it has clicked into place. Place the second red clamp on the fill line somewhere below the level of the hanging fluid bag. Check the expiry date of the new mini caps. Open the mini cap package by placing it foil side down on your supply surface. Peel back the packaging and expose the mini cap. Clean your hands again using the hand gel. Place the fingers of one hand on the light blue area of the transfer set. With your other hand, undo the twin bag connector. Keep the transfer set in your hand, letting the twin bag connector drop to your lap. Retrieve the mini cap from the packaging and place it on the transfer set immediately. Secure your transfer set. Check the drain fluid for clarity by placing the gauze packaging under the bag and ensure that the package labeling can be read. If the bag is cloudy, follow instructions and contact the dialysis clinic or hospital as you were taught. If the bag is clear, take it to the bathroom or shower and place the bag on a hook or the back of the toilet. Put the twin bag connector over the toilet bowl, remove the red clamps, and drain into the toilet. Once drained, put the twin bag in your household garbage. If this is your first exchange of the day, it is important to weigh yourself now and log this on your log sheet. A weight gain of two kilograms or more may indicate fluid retention or fluid overload, while a weight loss of two kilograms or more may point to dehydration or excess fluid loss. APD or Automated Peritoneal